Shalom. My name is David Ali Barry L. I'm a Muslim. Uh, this message is for Bro Sanchez. Bro Sanchez, you <clears throat> you made a mistake uh, with scriptures, and I'm going to show you uh, because I want to work with you, and I'm, I don't want to be like, oh, you know, I know more than you. That's that's BS. We can all do better. So um, <clears throat> this right here is the um the bible this is the king james version i got the this is a bible discovery app um you could probably get a new version of it or whatever but uh this one right here uh we're gonna read through and i got the strong letters or strong number excuse me on there so excuse me if that's distracting um but we want to go ahead and, and deal with this right here uh <clears throat> you had recently done a video where you said that uh there was only one tree in the garden. And uh, if you look uh, right uh, where we are at uh, Genesis 3.3. 3. Um, let's see. Well, let's just go ahead and start reading. Okay. Now the, uh, let me see, turn it off. Okay. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field, which the Lord God had made. And he un. And he said unto the woman, yea, hath God said, ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, we may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, not apple. We can deal with that later. But of the fruit of the tree, which is in the midst of the garden, God hath said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. For God doth know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be opened, and ye shall be as gods. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes and a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat fruit, didn't say apple, and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. Now, we're, we're looking for the trees. We're like, well, what tree, what tree was that? What tree was that? Uh, okay, so let's go back into Genesis, and we're going to go to Genesis 2, because we're like, what, what tree was that? All right. So, and out of the ground made, and this is uh, Genesis 2, 9, and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for the food, the tree of life, also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. So there's two trees. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Genesis 3, and then we're going to uh, scroll down a bit. Uh, I'm going to go down to 22. This is most important. And the Lord God... Yahweh Elohim said, behold, the man is become as one of us to know good and evil. And now lest, oops. And now lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life. Here it is, tree of life, and eat and live forever. So the problem with your podcast is y'all ain't eating the tree of life. That's why I'm here. I am the sow sage. So remember, 
go on back. Where's my mouse? We're going to go on back. Genesis 2. Nine. Where we understand what's going on and out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for the food. The tree of life also, we know what that means in English, in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Not just one. I see how it can be misleading, but they're dealing with one tree. And then later in Genesis 3.22, you see, it's an antidote. Kabbalah is an antidote for uh, the knowledge of good and evil. Um, flat power, bro Sanchez, holla at me. And uh, that's it for this presentation. Shalomsky.